Hey guys, really nice to be here, it's more Fallout 4, so last part we set all this up and it couldn't get it working and I've realised what I've done wrong now the dish needed to be underneath this and these two needed to be connected by a wire to it for some reason I connected a couple of the generators together but it can't hurt anyway, it's now powered up so we need to step onto this after we've talked to Sturgis hopefully everything looks good on my end you ready to see if this thing actually works? Um. yeah let's do this you sure? Okay, your part is simple. Just step onto the platform. I'll start scanning for an institute signal to lock onto. Then, I fire her up and we see what happens. Alright. Getting cold feet? I don't blame you. They're not going to be cold soon, are they? Uh. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm gonna okay. die. Hold real still. I don't want any corruption of the molecular beam. I, uh, by the way, I figured this was a golden opportunity to find out as much as we can about the Institute and what they're up to. No shit. Yeah, it, this holotape's all set with a program that will scan their network and download anything it finds. Uh oh. Uh. Yeah, we better hurry. Hey, Preston. Don't worry about that tubing wiggling around. It's uh just there for decoration. Okay. Scanning for the institute signal. Tracking RF. And got it. Hold on to your butt. I'll try. Ow. Did we teleport? Was it a success? Yay! The molecular, the molecular level, even. Are we in the institute? Okay. What? What am I to do? Don't know what you want me to do. Insert network scanner holotape into Institute Terminal. Did I not do that? Oh, here we go. Um, of course, a chip. Data. Was that the wrong one? Oh no, play tape, there we go. Try that again. I think that might be the wrong one. Which one was it? Network scanner. Yeah, it was the wrong one. There we go. I want to look around. Hello. Oh shit. I wondered if you might make it here. You're quite resourceful. I am known as Father. The Institute is under my guidance. Okay. I know why you're here. I'd like to discuss things with you face to face. Please, step into the elevator. Which one? This one? Yep, okay. Can we go then? Sturgis can wait. Cool elevator. Going down. Why didn't it say it? I can only imagine what you've heard. What you think of us. I'd like to show you that you may have the wrong impression. Is that right? We'll see about that. Welcome to the Institute. This is the reality of the Institute. This... 
these people the work we do. For over a hundred years, we've dedicated ourselves to humanity's survival. Decades of research, countless experiments and trials, a shared vision of how science can help shape the future. It has never been easy. And our actions are often misinterpreted by those above ground. Someday, perhaps, we can show them what we've accomplished. But for now, we must remain underground. There's too much at stake here to risk it all. As you've seen, things above are... unstable. I'd like to talk to you Wait, about what we can do for everyone. But that can wait. You are here for a specific, very personal reason. You are here for your son. There he is. Sean? Huh? Yes, I'm Sean. <laughs> Sean? Oh my god. It's really you. Who are you? He's not gonna believe me if I say that. I've got to really say it though, aren't I? Sean, it's me. I'm. I'm your dad. Father, what's going on? What's happening? Are you okay? Sean, are you okay? You're not hurt, are you? What's going on? Father? Father! What do you want? What do you want me to do, Sean? What can I do? I don't know you. Go away. Father! Father, help me! There's someone here! Help me! Father. Who is Father? Where is he? Father? Father, help me! He's trying to take me! Father? Oh my Father, god. Help me. You bastard. <laughs> Sean. S923, recall code Cirrus. What? Fascinating, but disappointing. The child's responses were not at all what I anticipated. He's a prototype, you understand. We're only just now beginning to explore the effects of extreme emotional stimuli. Please try and keep an open mind. I recognize that you are emotional, and that your journey here has been fraught with challenges. Let's start anew. I am Father. Welcome to the Institute. Um, this is insane. This is insane. All of it. The degree of trauma you're experiencing right now is understandable. Please, just try to relax. I know this is all difficult to take in. Where's my son? I'll make this very simple. Where is my son? He's here. In the Institute. Closer than you think. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you after all this time. It's me. I am Sean. What? I am your son. What? What? That's no, that can't be true, surely. That's crazy. <laughs> oh, come on. That's crazy. I assure you, I am completely sane and entirely honest in the vault. You had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the son. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? 
I thought it was 200. That is the reality. And here I am. Raised by the Institute. And now it's leader. But why? But why? Why take a child? Why take you? Ah, now that's the question, isn't it? Am I really believing this or what? Why me? At that time, the year 2227, the Institute had made great strides in synth production. But it was never enough. Scientific curiosity and the goal of perfection drove them ever onward. What they wanted was the perfect machine. So they followed the best example thus far. The human being. Walking, talking, fully articulate, capable of anything. They need specimens? So the weird science experiments needed specimens. That's why they took you. In a manner of speaking, yes. The Institute endeavored to create synthetic organics. The most logical starting point, of course, was human DNA. Plenty of that was available, of course. But it had all become corrupted. In this wasteland, radiation affected everyone. Even in their attempts to shield themselves from the world above, members of the Institute had been exposed. Another source was necessary. But then the Institute found me, after discovering records from Vault 111. An infant, frozen in time, protected from the radiation-induced mutations that had crept into every other human cell in the Commonwealth. I was exactly what they needed. And so it was my DNA that became the basis of the synthetic organics used to create every human-like synth you see today. I am their father. Through science, we are family. The synths, me, and you. So much time. Sixty years. So much time. Wasted. I know. I know you must have questions. Please. Anything I can do to help you understand. Kellogg. Kellogg? He worked for you? Kellogg. He was an Institute asset long before I arrived here. It wasn't until I became director that I learned of all the things he'd done. What kind of man he was. You used him? You knew the man was a psychopath, but you used him anyway? <laughs> Would you have preferred that I turned him loose on the Commonwealth? At least keeping him on a short leash kept the collateral damage to a minimum. The Institute took advantage of Kellogg's vicious nature. I will freely admit that. Institute technology prolonged his life, and his usefulness far beyond any normal human lifespan. He never failed the Institute, but his cruelty became more apparent with every completed objective. I won't lie. It's no coincidence your path crossed his. It seemed a fitting way to allow you... us. To have some amount of revenge, what else can I say to ease your mind? Your mother. Your mother? She never got to see you grow up? Yes. What happened to her was... I've gone over the records of the incident, of course. It seems her death was an unfortunate bit of collateral damage. Collateral damage? Collateral damage? Is that all she was to you? I forget that it's been such a short time for you. I don't have any direct memories. And I've had my entire life to cope with the loss. Has it always been easy? Of course not. But I've done my best to move on and live my life. For many years, I never questioned who my parents were. I accepted my situation. And that was that. With old age comes regret. And asking what if more often. But 
What matters now is that you and I have a chance to begin again. What else can I say to ease your mind? Uh, I don't really want to know about Institute anymore, so I'm just going to say I've had enough. I think I've heard enough for now. Very well. The Institute is on the verge of some important breakthroughs. Your presence would be appreciated as we approach them. I've been a part of something amazing here. I've helped to build a life for myself and the people of the Institute. And now, after all these years, you have an opportunity to help with that. Doesn't that intrigue you? Isn't that what you want? No. You want me to stay here? You want me to stay here? In the Institute? Yes. That is what I propose. Is it so hard to imagine? The Institute can provide a better life than anything above ground. You've been in the Commonwealth. You've seen what it's like. I assure you that you are better off with us. Dismissive. Uh, yeah, dis um, dismissive or don't now. We'll go with dismissive. How can you say that? How can you be so dismissive of all those people? Everything they've done? Because it is the simple truth. And I believe you know it too. I simply ask that you give the Institute, me, a chance. A chance to show you what I've been telling you. We really do have humanity's best interest at heart. Will you take that chance? Are you sure? Are you sure you want this? Yes, I am. It would benefit us both to work together. Just gonna warn you, if you're lying, I'm gonna go rampage and kill everyone in here, so... Fuck it, yes. Alright. Thank you. The Institute is now your home, as much as it is mine. Please take some time, get to know it. Meet the people you'll be working with. You'll want to introduce yourself to the Division Heads. Dr. Fillmore in Facilities. Dr. Ao in SRB. Dr. Holdren in Bioscience. And finally, Dr. Lee in Advanced Systems. They've all been notified of your arrival, of course. Meet them. And then we'll discuss what comes next. Well, Jesus Christ. That was a curveball. I wasn't expecting that. Why hasn't it changed your name to Sean now? That's what I want to know. Right. So this is the Institute. And... That's Sean, apparently. Jesus. He's 60 years old now, so... We've got a lot of catching up to do in the next part. A spanner? That's not a spanner. Cool. I want new stuff as well then. So right, I'm going to end this part here, and the next part we're going to have a look around the Institute, and suppose get to know Sean a bit more, whichever one he is. So I'm going to end this part here. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please like, favourite, subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Mm, bye!